Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Here we are at Franco's Athletic Club in Mandeville, Louisiana. I'm Amy. I have Julie joining me this morning for your bar class. So what you're going to need is a set of optional weights, which I need to get. <laughs> and then also we're going to be doing a lot of body weight exercises. So because if you don't have those free weights, it's no big deal. You're going to get a good workout regardless. So if you do have free weights, or if you don't, you can always grab bottle, bottles of water or cans. People are telling me some people are using cans. That's an option too. Um, so maybe nothing higher than five or six. I'll be using five and a half plates. And then um, the chair is here as an option. So when we do go down to the floor, if you don't want to come all the way down to the floor on your hands, if you want less pressure on your hands, no, you can always come down to your knees as an option, and then an option to come down to the seat of a table, I'm uh, sorry, a chair to, to a table, or a countertop, so if you want to be a little bit higher up. So lots of options that way. Okay, so we have weights. Weights, awesome, thank you so much. All right, so I'm gonna have this handy. We're going to stand here with our feet right under our hips. Take a big inhale, lift, and exhale. Bring your fingertips down to the floor wherever you can touch. Press your feet into the floor, soften your knees, lift. Big inhale, exhale. Let's take one more, soften the knees, press the lift. Gaze up towards the hands, step out wide. So take those feet out, turn the toes out. Push the knees back from here. I want you to imagine you're sliding your back down and up an imaginary wall. Lower, lift. All right, so chest starts to come forward in some people. So those hips start to go back. That chest starts to fall forward. See if you can slide straight down and straight up. Heating up the outside of the glutes here, inner thighs, quads. Take four more, here's four. After three, we're gonna have the arms join the party. Shoulder height, cross in front, cross shoulder height. All right, so at any point during your class today, you can stay right here at shoulder height. If you have anything wrong with your shoulders, this might feel better for you, so you can always stay right here. If you are good, you can reach those arms up to that high V. So lifting the kneecaps, turning on the quads more, Every time you lift, press your feet into the floor. Feel those inner thighs pulling up and in. This is your goal to heat your body right now. Keep it going, sink lower every time. You press up, you're pressing your feet into the mat a little bit more. And just remember, shoes are optional. You don't have to use them. I feel like I can press my feet, feel that foundation under my feet so much more, get into my legs a little bit more if I don't use the shoes. Three more. Two more. All right, hold right here. Now turn your toes a little bit more forward. Send your hips back. Sink your hips over to the left, now to the right. Singles, left, right. All right, add a twist, turn to the right, right, left, so those elbows stay down. So just a little rotation around your spine. Head in line with your spine, gaze about a few feet in front of you, right in front of the edge of your mat. Sending those hips way back, bending the knees, tracking the knees over the toes, and four, Three, we're gonna find ice skaters. Same move, but reach the arms to the front and out to the side. Reach. Keep that chin away from your chest. Find length through the arms. Keep it going. Low belly is turned on. Think about being firm in the midsection. All right, next option, touch down. So the head stays neutral, and those shoulders rotate around the spine, reaching down. If that's too much, come back here, okay? 
Hips back. Toes more forward. Heart rate starting to pick up. One more set. Four. Three. Two. All right, find your prayer. Twist one more time. Take four more. Four. Three sets. Two. And one. All right, hold in the center. Lift the shoulders over the hips. Turn the toes out now. All right, we're going to start to lean left and right. Let's lean left, right. All right, so once again, look down. Make sure those knees are tracking over the middle toes. All right, reach those arms out to the side. We're going to lean right, lean left, left, right. If you have shoulder issues, you can always reach those arms in front of you to get out of those shoulders. Leaning side to side, warming up in all directions, all angles around that spine. Keep it going. Remember your option. Last eight, eight, seven. Reach those arms long, fingertips to the floor and to the ceiling. Four more, four. After three, you're gonna hold it on the right. Hold, hold, hold. All right, pick up your left heel, turn towards your left knee. All right, so now your front leg is my right leg. Bending that knee over the ankle, open up through the collarbone. Back heel is high over the ball of the back foot from here. Twist towards that right foot, center. Step in with the left, step out with the right. Twist towards the left foot, center. Step in, step out, left. Twist right, two. Center, step in, step back. Keep that going, in. Out. Last one, slow. Step back. All right, let's speed it up. Tempo. Twist. Center. In. Back. Low belly. Pull it up and in. Watch that front knee. Make sure it's stacked over the ankle. All right, Julie's going to stay here. I'm going to come to the floor. Step through. If you want to heat up a little bit higher up, double mats are tripping me up here. Not used to that. Step wide, open, close, step outside. How are we feeling, Julie? Good, warm. I don't know, I think it might be warmer down here than it is upstairs. <laughs> lights. Right, the lights. We're going to start the sweat already. In the spotlight. All for you. Keep it going. Last one. All right, so come to a wide plank. So those feet can be outside the edges of your mat. You can drop down to the knees or you come onto that seat of a chair, okay? Roll the shoulders back. Collarbone is wide. From here, take your right hand, tap your left wrist, and rest it down. Take your left hand, tap your right wrist, rest it down. Now, elbow height, right, down. Left shoulder, right taps. Left taps back to the wrist. Now for the elbow, think about working up the ladder. Brace. Y'all can hear me breathing. Wrist. Wrist. Elbow. Elbow. Shoulder height. Abs braced. Make sure that booty's not hiking up in the air. Even if you're at that chair, even if you're on your knees. 
Hands come right under your shoulders. Breathe in, breathe out. Hips stay shining towards the mat. Try not to open them up. Two more sets. Soften through the elbows. Try not to lock out through the joint. Last set. Elbows. Shoulders. Good job. All right, quick child's pose. Come down to your knees. Send your hips back. All right, go ahead and find all fours. Grab your weights if you're using them. Step forward. Ground yourself one up. All right, from here. Squat position. Feet a little bit wider than your hips. Toes ever so slightly turned out. All right, squat. Down and up. So it's a bicep curl. In that bicep curl, you want to keep those elbows pretty still. You want to avoid swinging. So it's super common to let those elbows swing back, swing forward. So think no momentum. Let that bicep do the work here. Push your feet into the mat every time you stand. All the way down, all the way up. Take a little peek down at your elbows. Make sure they're not moving forward or back. Let the biceps do the work. Twenty seconds. Press your feet. Come on, heat up that low body. All right, option. You can stay here, or we're gonna add on in a layer or two. Option: lift right heel, lift left heel. Or, next layer, squat, lift, right knee. Squat, lift, left. All right, so you added a bigger motion in that lower body. Upper body wants to start swinging. Momentum wants to start taking over. Don't let it. You can take your feet more narrow or a little bit wider apart, whatever feels comfortable for you. So think about pressing the left foot as you lift the right knee, press the right foot as you lift your left knee. Make sure you're breathing. Don't hold your breath. How are your biceps? They should feel pretty warm. Pretty hot right now. Four sets. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Let's find a hold. Squat and hold. Roll the shoulders back. From here, options for rolling to the bottom of the feet. Sink the seat. Low. Chest lifts. Try to see if you can keep that chest lifted rather than making it to the tabletop of your back. Hold. Good, good. All right, take those weights off to the side. We're going back down to the floor. All right, so we're going to the mountain climbers. Once again, if you want to modify, you can start on your knees. And you can start from the knees and lift up, up, down, and then alternate. Leg that lifts first, knee off the floor. You can also come to a chair. Step your feet back, drive in, put your knees towards your chest. Hold that plank. We're gonna hold and go in four, three, two. I'm gonna start with my back leg. Right, left, right, left. So head is long. Tendency is to drop that chin towards the chest here. So if you can see your knees, your head is dropping too low. See if you can look straight down. Hands, making sure they're right under your shoulders. Booties down, abs are braced. Soften through the elbows. Make sure you're not locking up through the joint. Turn on those triceps here. Drop the knees straight towards the thumbs. Breathe. Big breaths. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. All right, we're gonna lift up those hips. Get a little pressure off the wrists for a second. See about pressing your heels towards the mat. And then we're gonna find that flow over to a plank position. Two counts to lift your hips. Lift, lift, lower. Lift, lift, once again. You can use that chair. Find a flat back fold over, and then send your hips forward. Less pressure on the wrists. Maybe you're using a countertop here. All right, last one. Option, back leg, right leg, floats into the air and lift, lift. Lower, lower, keep that going. Try to straighten that leg up, being lifted. It's my back leg, my right leg. I'm pointing it as hard as I can. Finding length. You have about five seconds and then we switch to that front leg, your left leg. One more. Lower switch through plank, lift, lift, two. Keep it going, breathe. Find length. Point that left toe if you can. Hop to the chair if you need to. Two more. Last one. All right, roll to plank. Hold your plank. Hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good job. Lift your hips. Walk your feet towards your hands. Round two with the weights. Grab them. All right, from here, feet right under the hips. We're gonna find a tricep kickback, but we're gonna stop our arms and weights if you're using them right at the hip. We stand up and reach. It's all about length, not about height. Bend, stand up. All right, reach as long. Arms as long as you can. So if you start to lift up too high, you might feel something funky in your neck, okay? Once again, finding your foundation. Pressing those feet firmly into the mat in every single stand. Elbows are narrow. Arms stay narrow. All right, remember layers. We add on in layers. Good changes coming up. Keep the arms stopping at the hip, okay? We're trying to focus and burn up the tricep. Four more after four. Three, two, right toe steps back. Can you stay in that left? All right, so you can stay with that toe touch or kick. So it's a kick, but I want to say a lift instead, because I don't want you getting into that low back. So you're standing straight up. Right foot presses down, left foot presses down. Turn on the glutes a little bit more. Stop at the hip. I know we all want to swing right here, but we get tired. So flexing through that foot, hard flex, turns on the glutes a little bit more. So if you're good and you want less, just relax that foot. If you want more, push that heel away. Breathe. Two sets. One set. Good job. All right, take those weights off to the side. Once again, you can find that chair. So we're going for a cross climber. My right leg, which is my back leg, is going to lead, crossing my right elbow towards my left, sorry, my right knee towards my left elbow. Or if you want to be on your knees and not higher up, you can reach that right hand towards the left thigh, reach the left hand towards the right thigh, or come on your toes, 
cross climber. Julie, you ready? Right and left, right, left, right, left. All right, so booty wants to go up. We need to turn our core on more by leveling out that seat. In line with your shoulders or your hips. Remember, soften through the elbows. So what also happens with this posture is the hips can open up too much. Keep the hips shining forward and down towards the mat. You're halfway there. Chin away from the chest. Long neck. Breathe. Breathe, breathe. Four, three, two, hold. All right, soften those elbows. Come down to the right forearm. Turn towards us. Option to drop that bottom knee towards the floor. Lift up that top arm, your left arm. You can stack your feet or straddle them, stagger them. We're gonna spread our wings. Close your wingspan, down two, and lift two. Try to keep those hips lifted. You're reaching with that arm, those hips stay stacked and shining forward. So that's a common thing, right? Not letting those hips rotate. Follow your gaze. Follow your hands with your eyes. All right, switch through. Open your wingspan. Two down, two up. Lift your hips or drop that bottom knee. Your choice. Just driving that 
heart rate up a little bit. 15 seconds. So it's a big arm. Lead with that soft elbow. Try to open up that forearm. Three. After two. Squat first. Left leg. Let's go. Squat. You can go to the toe drag. Remember what we did. Let me show you. If you don't want to lift the knee, I get it. See about touching those heels at the top. If you are choosing the drag. Alright, open that arm. Open the arm. Try not to lift here. Open that forearm. Hips shine forward. Squat. Can you get lower? Press left foot. Now think about your right. Using the glutes on the right. The hamstring and quad. So lift your body tall. Lift. Sit. Lift. You're almost there. Breathe. Breathe. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Good job. Take those weights up to the side. All right. Mount climber. This time it's wide. Right foot steps out wide, replace. Left foot steps out wide. Notice that my knee stays right over the ankle. My hips don't drop. Right, left, right, left. See if you can place your whole foot on the floor. Keep it going. I'm gonna give you your next level. Stay with Julie if you want, or step through, step up, Step back, step out. So I call it the Y Mount Climber Warrior. You're Y climbing and you're celebrating once you get to the top. Celebrating this workout. You're working your way to the top. You're about halfway through your workout. You're gonna come down. 30 minutes. Step wide. You can always drop that back knee. Back knee. Lift. Lower. Step back. Drop back knee. Your choice. Back heel. Over the ball of the back foot. Your heart rate should be up there. Yeah, I'm at 154. We're not jumping. We're sweating now. How about four more singles? Four. Three, that might be eight for Julie. <laughs> Heels over the balls of the feet. All right, lift your hips. Soften the knees. Walk forward. Round up. All right, legs coming at you. You ready? <laughs> Drift. It's hot. Oh my goodness, it is hot, y'all. All right, so take a sip of water. Let's squat. Push out the legs just a little bit. You're not gonna need much. Four more. Here's four. Three. Two. And one. Step that right leg forward into a lunge position. Step that left leg back. Back heel over the ball of the back foot. Okay? Two down. Two down. Two up. All the way. Two down. Two up. So you're going straight down. Straight up. So listen, if you have a thin mat, Double or triple up, maybe double, maybe not triple. Your mat under the ball of your back foot to give more cushion. If it's too thick to compromise your balance, a little too much. Singles, down and up. All right, I'm trying to 
not decided I'm gonna use my weights to put that next part. What the heck, right? Why not? Keep it going. Are you staying up or are you grabbing weights? Staying up. Okay, follow Julie. Four, three, two, one. All right, so it's a reverse lunge, toe tap. Reverse lunge, toe tap, or knee lift. If you're with me, Julie, let's go. This is when it helps to have a mirror. <laughs> Lower lift. Breathe. You're here for a little while. All right, so let me show you to modify. You can hop that back foot in. Keep the arms moving. You can hop that back foot all the way in, okay? Or you can reverse lunge, toe tap. Or a knee lift, with no weights. Regardless, you're still moving. Breathe. That right foot is pressing into that back. Right quad is screaming. Thirty seconds about roughly breathe. How you doing? Woo. I know. It's a woo moment. It's a big woo moment. Ten seconds. Two more. Two. And one, lunge position, hold. Weights or no weights, I'm dropping them. Down an inch, down and up. All right, so you're here for a little while. Those shoulders run a roll forward. Quad collarbone across the chest. Back heel, over the ball of the foot. Make it small, real small, real small. Hips, level. That right hip wants to kick out. Think about leveling and squaring the hips. Press right foot. Breathe. All right, hinge forward, down and up, down and up. All right, so now you're leaning forward. That spine is long, however wide. You're gonna start to really feel some heat in that right glute. So you're going straight down, straight up, inch distance with that back knee. That front knee is not moving, not going anywhere. Breathe. Woo, press that, press that right foot every time you lift. Lower, press right foot. Lower, press right foot if you need more. You can use your hands on your thighs, reminding yourself to push right foot every time you lift. You want to feel anything. I know you want to throw something at the screen right now. I don't blame you. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Shoulders over hips. All right, we're going to go down for two. Up for two. Good. Down for two. Up for two. Keep that going. Slow it down. You will have a chance to go singles just a minute. Not even a minute. More like 10 more seconds. Breathe. Let's go singles. Slower, lift. I know, that right leg. It's toast. It's toast. I can feel my right glute, my white, right quad, right hand, so much. There's burn, serious burn. Three, two, hold this one down. Option to lift the front heel. Reach those arms out to the front or arms above your head if your ribs don't come with you. Hold, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, squat it out, flush it out, lower lift, Woo! All right, so you should feel really 
lift it on this side. No surgery required, right? Four more squats. Four, then that left leg comes forward. Three, two, and one, left leg. All right, here we go. Set yourself up. Drop that back, back knee under your back hip. Left one, square those hips. So you can use that countertop. One hand to the back of a chair, countertop. All right, two down, two up, let's go. Two down, two up. Breathe. A little bit of recovery right here. Trying to create heat in that left leg to match the right. Breathe, breathe. All right, two more. Take two more here. All right, last one. Now let's roll into some singles. Down up, down up. Remember, the shape from the side. You can hop that back foot in. You can send the hips back, or you can hop the back foot in and make sure both knees bend. Make sure that left knee is not riding in front of the toes on the left. Grab my weights. Here's four, three, two. Reverse lunge to a toe tap. Reverse lunge, toe tap. Seven, six. You know where we're going. Five. Option to stay with the toe tap, or just lunge down up. Two more. Preview. Let's roll. Breathe. Pumping your arms. So you are relying on that left foot to get you to stand. Try not to push off that back foot. Your left leg's job right now is to help you to stand. Breathe. Look, a good lunge is a long lunge. All right, the burn. The burn is setting in. How y'all doing? Yes, you can. Tell yourself, I can, and I will. How much longer? About 35 seconds. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Another woo moment. Julie said, come on, come on. Breathe. Come on, breathe, I'm telling myself the same. Four more, four, three, two, one. Place your weights down. You were using them, lunch position. Down an inch, up an inch, lower, lift. Ooh, heart rate, 167 over here. Ah, those weights, if you have them, they make a difference. If you do this workout once without them, do it maybe once or twice without them. Then come back, try it with them. Borrow your neighbors after they've been sanitized first. Let them leave on your front door. Come on, keep it down lower. Make it lower. Yes, you can. Left foot presses. Left foot presses. Breathe. Ten seconds. That's it. Before we hinge forward and really turn on that left foot. Three. Two. Down hold. Hinge. Down an inch. So back knee under the back hip. Remember, you can always hop that back foot in. Where's your countertop? Where's the back of your chair? Use it at home. Remember, mind to body. That connection, that tactile connection, placing your hands on that thigh. Sit down as you lift up. 
halfway. Give yourself a good shoulder roll. Collarbone wide. I know, when we get tired, we all want to roll. We all want to round through that back. Snap good. No bueno. As what Gretchen would say. No bueno, right? Ten seconds. Four. Three. Two. One. Step your shoulders over your hips. Two down. Two up. Let's go. Two down. Ooh. That doesn't feel much better, does it? <laughs> Not yet. But we're still moving. If we haven't stopped. If you're shaking, you're in good company. Right here, I'm with you. Ten seconds. Then we find some singles. Two more. Last one. Down two. All right, you ready, Jules? Singles, let's go. Lower, lift. Did you double up that mat behind you? If you need to, hop the back foot in. You can always hinge forward, but I'm still bending both knees. Watching that front knee, super important. Four more. Four, three, two, one, down, hold. All right, right here, option with the front heel. You don't have to. Option to reach those arms in the front. Calling on your core for more work, or reach your thumbs above your head. Resetting those ribs down. Big inhale, exhale, hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come together. We're gonna find a few spots before we bring those heels together. Oh, all right, so now the left glute should feel lifted. It should feel like it matched the right. As you finish that leg sequence on that right leg, that left leg is screaming just as much as the right did. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, so bring your heels together. No more than about four inches between your big toes. Now, promise me that you will keep your heels connected the whole time. Say, I promise I will keep my heels connected. All right, so you also have the option to keep your heels flat on the floor or lift on up. But notice, we didn't disconnect our heels, right? All right, so slide your back down an imaginary wall. Hold here. I've got two mats under my feet, very cushy mats. So I'm challenging my balance like crazy today. All right, so we have an inch down, inch up. All right, so you can use that countertop, the back of the chair. You can karate chop it. I like to say karate chop, that way you're not using your upper body to lift you, you're using your legs. This lower, we couldn't hear the music. <laughs> right? <laughs> Four, three, squeeze the heels. Two, squeeze the heels, hold, pulse down. Let's go, down, down. Stay here, second set of eight. Four, three, listen up. Down, hold, down, hold, stay. Up, hold, stay. Down, hold, stay. Up, hold, stay. Down, hold, stay. Up, hold, stay. Down, hold, stay. Up, hold, pulse down. Squeeze the heels. Remember, you can drop them. Find your support. In four, three, two, down, hold, down, hold. Are you challenging your quad? Up, hold, down, hold. Can you go down lower? Inch, maybe two inches lower, maybe three. Pulse down. All right, if you're not shaking, maybe come down that imaginary wall a little bit lower. Maybe you've got a column in your house. Find that, that'll be good. Down, hold, down, hold. Make sure it's a flat column, not a rounded column. I don't know, the rounded might work. Down, hold, up, hold, down, hold, up, hold. Keep it going, down, hold, up, hold, wide collarbone. 
Last one, pulls it down. Keep that flow going. Down to the little series. Second set of eight. Are you squeezing your heels? Where do you feel heat? Here, here. Down, hold. Up, hold. Find the craziness going on in your body as you hold down, hold up, down, hold. A couple more. Sixteen pulses. Down. Breathe. My collarbone. Right, check your shoulders. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three. All right, two down, two up. Let's go. Down, down. My shoulders stay over hips. It's really calm to start to hinge forward. If you're starting to hinge forward, release your heels. Okay? Straight down. Straight up. Straight down. Can you come up? Seven eighths of the way. Still loading through the quads. Inner thighs working. Four more. Four. After three, let's find a hole. What do you say? Sure. Sure, why not? Two more. Two. Last one. Two down. Hold. Here we go. Reach those arms. Use your support. It's there. Use it if you need it. Option. Let's go. Ribs pulling it down. Hold. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Take your feet out wide. All right. From here, inch over to the right. Extend the right leg. Eight counts. Let's go. Right only. Bend right. Extend right. Seven, six, five, four more, four, three, after two, we're going to add the arms, preview, so front and to the left, front to the left, seven, six, five, four, three, two, option is slide, left toe to right foot, eight, seven, Six, angle those arms to the left. Four more, four. Shoulder height, seat back. Two more. Option to lift the knee next time. So toe tap, lift the knee. Toe tap, lift the knee. Right leg, right glute. Working overtime. All right, so if you want more, you're touching that left big toe. Trying to keep that heel off the floor, relying on everything on that right side to stand tall, lift. If you need to, you can press the whole foot down. The goal is trying to get you to use that right leg. So just tapping that right toe makes a big difference. Yes, I know you're burning. I am too. Use your arms. See if you can almost throw yourself off balance. Your core will catch you. Keep it going. How's that right glute? Right quad. Right hand screaming. Three more. Three. Two. One. All right, step your feet wide. All right, we're gonna bend the left leg. Extend. Single it out. Eight. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. After four. Arms. Four. Three, two, arms come straight out, shoulder height and to the right. Eight, seven, six, five, push the water away. Four, push it. Three, you're in the pool. Two, add that right toe. Drag, lower, lift. Four to go. You can stay right here. We're still working that flute. Option, lift the knee. Hips back, stand tall. Dig, left foot. Push the water. Push the water. Pause, pause. If you want more, find a pause. Booty back. Imagine there's a wall behind you. You're trying to reach it. You're working hard. You're halfway there. Oh, 
push, sit, stay tall, dig left, dig left, pop the arms, push. Your heart rate's up a little bit right now. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Three, two, and one. Good job, squat out, just eight, eight. Seven, after six, we go to the four. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Come to the four, hand release push-ups. All right, so I advise you to do a countertop with this posture, if not, the seat of a chair is not wide enough. All right, so we're all gonna have the opportunity to cover our chest. Hands under shoulders. You have a wide stance with your hands. You can always push up from your knees, but first we're gonna pull those elbows back, squeeze through the shoulder blades. Turn on your pecs by pressing the palms into the floor. Tuck your toes if you're coming all the way up as one. Lift to a push up and lower. So elbows back. Palms, push, lower, pull back, press, lift, lower, pull back, long neck. Try to come up as one. If you feel like you're not able to do that, come to your knees. So these hand release push ups help you not ride the momentum of your last rep, forcing you to use your back. Use your pecs more than you would in a regular push-up. So they actually help you improve your endurance, your stamina in your push-ups. The number of reps, you're more than halfway. Come straight from the knees. Pull, press, lift, lower. One more, four, three, two more, last one, good job, push back, child's pose, all right, send your hips back, fingers are long, walk them away from you, big toes touch, knees come apart, from here we're going to swing over to our right forearm, stacking our ankles, and lining up with our hips. How are we doing? Yes? Good. All right, so I'm gonna show you a few modifications. So this is where we're gonna go. We're gonna lift up, top knee opens, bottom knee presses, hips come forward. Okay, so we're gonna go two, two. So let's lower in four, three, two, two. Let's lift, so lift, lift. And Julie's gonna keep that going while I show you modifications. I get it. This is not for all shoulders, okay? You can always come down to your arm, your head rested in it, and open up the top leg. Up, up, and lower, lower. If you want a little bit more, you can angle your knees down and lift the top leg. All right, now Julie and I are gonna go singles. Let's go. Lift, lower. Remember the tips are coming forward. Bottom hip and top hip are working. The side of your glutes here. So anytime you need a neck stretch, you can angle your gaze down towards that forearm that's on the mat. Hinging at the feet. We're still working. We're still sweating. We're still dripping. How about you? You're more than halfway there. Make sure your feet are lined up with your hips. You should feel burn, mostly on the bottom hip. Head in line with spine. Two and one. All right, swing around. We're gonna swing around this time. Forget the hold, right? Okay, here we go. Left forearm. So we're gonna lift that top knee and lift our hips all at the same time. 
Lower, lower, let's roll. Up, up, down, down. Maybe grab a sip of water. You are almost there. Clearly we're heading into the glutes. We've already started. We should feel a little toasty. All right, after this time, we're gonna go singles, lower lift, lower lift. All right, so those hips, they do wanna just come right back down, see if you can push them forward. Lower, push forward. That's gonna activate the side of that bottom glute more the more you push those hips forward. Relax that top shoulder. Try not to let it come towards your face with every lift. You can even place your hand on your hip. Halfway. Breathe. Gaze down at that left arm if you want to stretch to that neck. Four more. Four. Push the hips. Three. Push the hips. Two. And one. Good job. Swing around. All right. So we're going to come to our back. And move my bike back out of the way. All right. So ride along glutes. I'm going to start with my front leg. But first, we're going to lift two, two. Bridge lift. And lower. Lift, lift. Two more like that. Last one. Lift, lift, hold. Now make sure your heels are not so far close to your seat that your knees are jetting out beyond your toes. And then not so far out that it's gonna, you're gonna have to work into that low back and into those knees. So you want your feet right under your hips. Float your front leg, your right leg into tabletop. And we're gonna lower the hips. Two down, two up. Two down. Two up. So we're pressing into that back leg to lift the hips. I had to reset my left foot. I needed to walk in a little bit closer to my seat. Maybe you need to adjust yours as well. Starting off just two twos. Two more. All right, last one. Now we're gonna go single count, lower lift, lower, lift, same leg. So you should feel a lot of heat on that left glute. Your glute mass is doing the work. And notice you're barely touching your seat to the mat. Dig left foot to push. Dig left foot to lift. So I'm bringing my front toes down to the mat and lifting. Down to the mat and lifting. Stopping that front knee right over the hip, tabletop position. You're almost there. Ribs in. You don't need to lift so hot that you're popping onto the upper ribs. Four, three, two, and one. Lift the hips. Keep that leg at tabletop. Can you extend that front leg? Pulse up 16. One, two. Here's the second eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a hold. Maybe you reach for that foot and lower. All right, lower the hips. Here we go. Up two, down two. Lift, lift, and lower. Three more like that. Two more like that. Last one. Hold your hips up. Lift the back leg, left leg to tabletop. Lower, lower. Lift, lift. So that left leg is just along to the ride. Pressing into that right foot. Not just the heel, but yes, you're definitely focusing a lot on the heel, but also the ball of the foot. 
all the surface area of that front foot is pressing into your mat every time you lift. Alright, singles. Lower. You can always add weights if you want to your hips. I don't think you'll need them now. Good tap. Lift. Try to cover the hips. Barely let them touch the mat. So you're trying not to lower the hips all the way. You're halfway there. Stopping that shin parallel to the ceiling. Knee over hip. seconds. Hang in there. I know you are hot in that front glute. Four, three, two, and one. All right, lift that left leg towards the ceiling. 16 pulses with that leg. Lift, up, up. Push that right foot down. Second set of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and a hold. Maybe reach those arms and lower the hips. Pull the knees in towards the chest. Rock side to side. You are almost done. All right, so we have cross crawls. Slow, slow, reach for the leg. All right, so massage your back as you rock side to side. And you can go ahead and stop in the middle. Place the feet on the mat. Okay. Extend the legs. And neck and shoulders lift. Turn on your rectus abdominis. Bring the legs to tabletop one at a time. We're going to twist front, back, front, and a reach. Go. Front, back, front, hold, reach. Back, front, hold, reach. Twist, twist. All right, so if you want less load, you can reach those legs towards the ceiling. You don't have to reach. You can just reach those legs closer to the ceiling above you. You can also toe tap. Hand or no hand reach. Or you can extend those legs long. Try to reach with that foot. Breathe. So not only are you twisting through the shoulders, your sternum is following coming along, twisting back, twisting front, twisting back, reach. Two. Last one. Hold, knees to chest. All right, good job. Go ahead and rock forward and back so you have the momentum to get up. All right. Good work, y'all. We're just gonna stretch and we'll be out of here and we turn the music off just in case it decides, decides to restart on us. All right, hopefully that's good. All right, go ahead. Find a little low crouch from here. Pull your chin towards your chest. Get a little stretch in the back of your neck. And then go ahead and find that cushion. Maybe you still have that double mat. If not, go ahead and find it. Take your right leg forward, step through. Hold here, left knee in contact with the mat. So you can stay down low, flanking that right foot with your spider web fingers. You're holding, squeezing the glutes, or you can interlace those hands right on that right thigh. Lift your shoulders over your hips, stay here. Reset, make sure that front knee isn't going beyond the toes, okay? So plumb over the ankle, hold here. Option to find prayer, and then twist towards that space in front. You're gonna twist towards the left, and then you're gonna reach your fingertips down, keeping your chest lifted, squeezing your glutes, shifting your hips forward, good hip opener stretch. Your hands may or may not meet that mat. You can also keep that one right hand on your thigh, Finding that rotation, that right knee's pushing out to the right just a little bit. Maybe you heel toe just a touch that right foot over to the right. That might help with those hands coming down to the mat. All right, so next level, if you have the range, go ahead and find this and then reset your shoulders, twisting towards the left. All the while, you're squeezing through those glutes. Take another inhale. 
Final level, flat palm, reset. All right, twist to the left, squeeze glutes, let this hips fall. Good, take a big inhale. And exhale, walk those hands back, flanking that right foot, and then go ahead and lift yourself up. All right, from here, we're gonna find a good quad stretch, pretty intense. So Julie's gonna go to her right forearm, and she's gonna pull her left heel towards her seat. I'm gonna shift my back leg forward one inch or so to pull that back kneecap in. Pulling that heel towards my seat, Julie's gonna do the same except on her forearm. From here, I'm leaning forward, pulling the heel towards my seat, opening up through the collarbone, maybe even one arm reaches, or if you want more, both hands can pull. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Another inhale. And good job, go ahead and release that foot. I'm gonna face you again. And Julie's gonna meet me into that kind of runner's lunge position. All right, so we're both gonna step that back leg forward into a triangle pose. One, two, three, lift. All right, so hamstring stretch on the right leg. Folding yourself over that right leg. Trying not to arch through the spine and round through the back. Think about long spine here. If you have that chair or that countertop, you can reach for it. It's a good hamstring stretch just like this. If you want to open up through the chest, you can find a hamstring stretch interlacing those fingers. All right, good job. Take those feet together, round one up, and you're going to step that left leg forward. Step the right leg back. All right, drop that back knee towards the mat. You can stay here. Get your placement knee over ankle, super important. All right, if you can, interlace the hands. Lift the shoulders over the hips. Reset the hips forward without shifting that knee too far in front. All right, option, hands in prayer. Open towards the right. Squeeze the glutes, keeping that wide collarbone. Fingertips towards the mat. Hold here. Watch that front knee. Take a big inhale. Exhale, maybe come down to those knuckles. Reset. Squeeze the glutes. Open up through the collarbone. Big inhale. On the exhale, last level, palms flat to the mat. All right, big inhale. Exhale, take one more cycle of breathing here. And on the exhale, face that front leg. And then Julie's going to come to her left forearm, pull her right heel towards her seat. I'm going to bump my back knee in just a little bit, pull up my right heel towards my right seat, lift one up, shoulders over hips, one arm or two, sink those hips down, breathe. All right, so you're trying to lengthen through that quad. You just worked in so much, releasing the tightness. Make sure you're breathing. One more inhale. And go ahead and find that exhale. I'm gonna come down. Julie's gonna meet me into a runner's lunge with that back knee on the floor. Left leg forward. On three, we're gonna hop up to a triangle pose. One, two, three, lift up. Good job. Knee towards that nose or vice versa. Rolling the shoulders back. Once again, using that prop in front of you if you need it. Take a big inhale. And exhale, step that back foot towards the front. And soften the knees, round on it slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Big shoulder roll, interlace, good chest opener here. And we're gonna close today's class with a big wide step out. A big inhale, crossing in front, breathe in. And exhale, one more time, breathe in. And pull that right heel towards your left. And a wonderful rest of the day. Thank y'all so much.